Hey, hey. Spring or Fay, Simple Tarot. Okay, Aquarius, I pre-shuffled. This is a reading for you. We're going to see what we get. Four Aquarius. Four Aquarius. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Not very happy. Someone's not very happy in their current situation. Okay, this is a surrounding. It feels like um, queer romance or love or emotions and um, stability are concerned. Abundant. Abundance. Now, we've got the Queen of Pentacles here. Um, there's something you're not seeing. There's some truth that you need to look at. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Where are you putting your energy? That's important. Ace of Cups reversed. Nine of Wands. Clarify further. Okay. You see, where are you putting your energy at? You know, I feel like that for a lot of you, you've dealt with a lot of dead gun players and you're scared to put your energy anywhere where it's got to do with other people. But in the sense, also, this is about you putting your energy where you need to and moving forward with it to make these new beginnings. It's because it feels like it, it, it's, it's all got to do with you and what you work on, what you choose to do, what you choose to move forward towards. It's like you just have to see the truth that the strength lies within you. If you're looking back too much, too long, stop. Tell us more. Well, cause it, okay, see, Queen of Cups reversed. Okay, they're clear. What they're doing is they're clarifying this. Okay, you're the Queen of Pentacles, but you're also the Queen of Cups reversed. So you've got a lot to offer here. But you feel lacking where, in other words, I feel like I'm talking to someone who's lonely. Someone who wants, they want attention. They want someone special in their life, whether it is romance or whether it's friendship, whatever. There's emotion involved. And they feel like they're not getting it. They, they feel like they're not getting it. Well, guess what? Message time. Okay. Truthful message being given. Helps to bring a balance to, you know, everything. Okay, this is something that you have to deal with. It's just within you. Okay, King of Cups. The Moon and Balance. See here, this is about, um, okay, look. See, there you are. Okay. I feel like that you've got somebody there, but there's an illusion around it. And it's almost like you don't know how to balance things out. You know, there's some kind of toxic bond here you have to someone. And the thing about that is, what that's doing is that messes up the balance between, as far as you going forward. But it's, it's, it's something you have to break. You have to deal with. Uh, because it feels like this person's not even in the picture. This is something that you've got to find a balance about. And I feel like this, this page of wands is actually me telling you. Hold up yourself and look at yourself. And no matter how painful the past is, sometimes you have to look at it. You know, you look at the happy parts... See, they're showing it. Okay, thank you. You look at the happy parts, but you also look at the drama parts. Do you see what I'm saying? And that that will help you to bring a good balance to what's 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 happening within your mind, within your heart, within your, your yourself. You see what I'm saying? Um, justice and judgment here, you know, looking at karma, karmic lessons, karma, you're dealing with it. You're dealing with it so that you can go forward, so that you can, um, oh, you have to look back on it, in other words, and find a, a, find a sense of peace with yourself. That's what it feels like. See through the illusion. 
once you do that, things change. Is it going to be soft and easy? No, it's going to be painful. But at the same time, that helps you to manifest what you want and have what you want. So that's what I've got. I mean, this is pretty heavy reading here. This is pretty heavy because someone's going through a lot of crap. Uh, but it's it's within themselves. It truly is. Yeah, they're showing it. See, they're showing it here. Um, this is something that you you have to do. Can't nobody else do it for you. Um, yeah. Let's see. Trying to find the cards I was looking for. All right here they are. Whoops. Okay. I'll take you an animal spirit card. I feel like I I should. Okay. Four Aquarius. Four Aquarius. Four Aquarius. You know, and you could very well be dealing with someone, but it's something that you're going to have to fix it within yourself. You know, they could still be in the picture, though. I'm just being honest. They could very, very well. Okay, you got three of them. You got dog, friend, squirrel, always prepared. Moose Wisdom. We're going to look at Dog Friend first. Okay. Today I will love without condition. My energy and enthusiasm are an inspiration. I choose to be happy. I am a protector and friend. That's beautiful. And then we have Squirrel Always Prepared. You are the expert of hard work and hard play. Your cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. Don't let life's distractions take you off course. Make a plan for the future and life will give you all you need. Manifest in what you want. Right there it is. Then we have Moose Wisdom. Let your head and mind reach to the stars. Yet keep your feet grounded on the earth. Listen to the ancient wisdom in your soul. And ancestors speak through you. The ancestors speak through you. You know much. So this tells me that you've got a real connection to spirit. You've got um, this deep connection to a higher power. And, um, you know, you, you know more than you, you think you know. Um, you just got to open yourself up to it. Um, I am going to do an extended on this. I wanted to see which, which signs are, are just chomping at the bit at me. For sure Capricorn, so we definitely got to look at if you're dealing with a Capricorn. Um, also Pisces and Cancer is big. Let's see. Scorpio. Libra. Sag, Sagittarius, Taurus,
And I'm going to look at Aries because we, we do have the Magician there. So um, in the extended, we'll look at if you are dealing with a Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Sagittarius, Taurus, or Aries. You know, I'll ask what their intentions are and we'll just go from it with go from it from there. Um, but as far as this is concerned, this is something that you have to deal with, you know. It's it's up to you, basically. How long you allow it to hold you back. That's what it feels like. Um, so yeah. Okay. I'm also feeling, I was feeling another card. Where's it at? Yeah. Aquarius. There it is. Okay. Okay. You got discernment. You are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. You see, you know, that moon card there felt like a lot of illusion. You're, see, you're, you're learning how to see. You know, you're, you're getting it. You're, you're seeing. You're, you're feeling. You're being able to distinguish. See, that's awesome. And that's just, you know, letting us know that this is moving forward. You just, you got to do it. You know, you just got to do it for yourself. Um, that's what I've got, and uh, if you like the readings, thumbs up. Please do subscribe. Until next time, bye.